Perez of Boker County Community College Police Department and today we're going to be learning about the Cleary Act and how it affects you here on campus. Notice everything in this PowerPoint that's underlined or highlighted um, or if it's in bold or red it's very important information and this was revised August of 2013. Over here you see to the left the Clearys with President Bush and on the bottom you see the Cleary family. Um, the young lady in pink, she's important. She was the one that this uh, law was named after. Her name is Jean Cleary. It's a picture of her with her parents and her brothers. Who is Jean Cleary and what was the motivation for creating and passing the Campus Security Act in 1990? In April of 1986, Jean Cleary, a college student at Lee University in Pennsylvania, was tortured, raped, and sodomized, and murdered in her dorm room. After this, her parents, Howard and Connie Cleary, remembered that their visit to the college prior to Jean's death had college administrators boasting about how safe Lee was. Upon further investigation, they found that this was not the case. A very serious and violent crime had been occurring on Lee campus, and the administration was hiding it and covering it up. After Jean's death, the Clearys formed an association called Security on Campus and lobbied Congress from, time, from the time of Jean's death until 1990 when they were finally instrumental in passing the, crim, the Crime Awareness and Campus <coughs> Security Act of 1990. After this, it would be against federal law for colleges and universities to keep a secret and to not be open about crime and safety on campus. The law was amended in 98 to be called the Gene Cleary Disclosure of Campus Security Policy and Campus Crime Statistics Act of 1998, referred to as the Cleary Law. The Clearys continue to work in years following their daughter's death to fight for continued compliance with the act. So if you were to define the Cleary Law, you would say it's a right to know the law that requires all colleges to be open and forthright about campus safety and security. Yeah, these are the crime statistics from 2010, 2011, 2012 out here at Beaufort. Facilities and grounds. The campus layout of Boca County Community College encompasses 80 acres off of 264, approximately five miles from Washington. There are 14 buildings on site and 13 of the 14 are open to general public and the campus community. They are utilized for education and instruction. Building six, the maintenance building, is the only building not utilized for instruction or teaching. The mission statement. The mission statement of Boca County Community College Police Department is to ensure that every member of the campus community is afforded an environment that offers the utmost safety and security so the institutional purpose of education and service can be fulfilled. Fulfilling the mission statement. The mission statement from Beaufort County Community College Campus Police will be fulfilled by the following means and these are not in the order of priority. Communications both oral and written, high visibility patrols, enforcement, campus community involvement, and service. These factors are all called community policing and they create a proactive versus reactive approach to how we police and provide services to the campus community. Reporting campus crimes and emergencies. All members of the campus community should report crimes and safety issues that occur on campus to the BCC PD by one of the following methods. Calling on campus emergencies, you can pick up any phone here and dial zero, or on your cell phone you can call 911. Non-emergencies, please call 943-8721. This is the BCC Police duty line. An officer will help you. The switchboard operator has radio contact with an officer at all times. Calling from off-campus, BCC switchboard number is 946-6194. The BCC Police Department Administration Chief of Police is 940-6444. Uniform Patrol Operations and Operations Division's Office is 943-8721. Reporting anonymously by telephone to the above listed numbers and all landline phones and cell phones have voicemail capabilities. Reporting in person, the BCC Police Department offices are located. The Chief of Police is located upstairs in Building 1, Room 210. The Uniform Patrol Operations Office is located downstairs in Building 5, Room 13. 
compiling the annual report. The BCC Police Chief compiles the annual report and distributes it to the entire campus via the BCC website, paper copies, oral presentations with paper copies of the annual report via ACA classes, and campus-wide presentations. The crime and disciplinary referral statistics are obtained via campus citizens voluntarily reporting crimes and incidences to the BCC PD and the Vice President of Student Services and BCC counselors. No policies are in place to encourage non-campus pastoral or local mental health professionals to report crimes to the BCC PD that are reported to them by BCC students. Crime statistics reflect, reflected in the annual report include numbers supplied by the BCC Police Department and the BCC Police Chief submits a written annual request to the Beaufort County Sheriff for all reported category crimes from the area that immediately and directly surrounds the BCC campus. BCC is a community college and does not provide campus on-campus housing. If there is a medical emergency on campus, dial 0 or 911. Remember to give the building and room number where the victim is located or the exact location if the victim is outside. An announcement will then be made for an EMT or a member of the nursing staff to respond. Call 911 before anyone else if the situation appears life-threatening. BCC police officers do not transport sick or injured parties to the physician's offices or any other emergency, non-emergency facilities. BCC students injured while participating in college classes or college sanctioned events are covered by blanket injury insurance. All student injuries need to be reported to the Vice President of Students ASAP. The Vice President of Students is Rick Anderson. Annual evacuation drills and campus lockdowns. The BCC conducts annual evacuation drills at the beginning of each new academic year. Designated emergency coordinators conduct the drills. Each BCC facility has a direct call to 911 when a fire alarm activates with automatic fire and EMS response. In the event of a, cat a catastrophic event on campus, like a shooter or a hostage situation, campus officials will begin to lock down all campus rooms in the buildings to protect the campus citizenry. Students should obey instructions from campus officials and do whatever is necessary to safeguard themselves. This includes and is most important silencing all cell phones or any other device that emits a sound. General first aid. First aid stations are located in every building on campus. And these are the different buildings and the locations where you can find a first aid station. Disposition of reported incidents. The BCC police will investigate and dispose of all reported crimes and incidences that occur on campus property and will seek assistance from the outside agencies when necessary. The BCC police work with in cooperation with the Sheriff's Department in Beaufort County as well as other local, state, and federal agencies. The following situations would merit assistance from other agencies. One, where equipment is needed to process a crime scene. Two, during large uprisings or disturbances where additional manpower is required. Three, emergencies, medical, natural, or man-made disaster, hostage situ situation, etc. Four, to obtain information on suspects. Five, where circumstances of crimes on campus affect other geographical jurisdictions. Access control to campus facilities. All academic buildings are open to the campus community and the general public during normal business hours from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays. BCC police can be reached by calling 943-8721. Maintenance of campus facilities. All members of the campus community should report any maintenance or safety problems by contacting BCC police at extension 6444 or 943-8721. Enforcement Authority. Members of the BCC Police Department are duly sworn law enforcement officers with full powers of arrest. The police officers receive their law enforcement authority and agency commission stat status via General Statute 115D, sub Section 21, Subsection 1. 
They, uh, they have the authority to enforce all applicable state, federal, and local law ordinances within their jurisdictional boundaries. The BCC Police Department will also enforce all policies and regulations that deal directly with the conduct of students on campus. The BCC PD works in a cooperative effort with the Vice President of Student Services, Rick Anderson, in investigating and placing campus and legal sanctions on all offenders. The Police Department will investigate and take action against anyone who jeopardizes the academic and community service mission of the institution. Enforcement Tools The BCC Police Department enforces laws the same as all agencies in North Carolina. BCC police officers can also issue campus citations to any individual who either violates law or campus policy. The campus citation can ban and or sanction individuals from college property and limit their use of campus facilities and services. Individuals can also be banned <clears throat> and arrested by the BCC Police Department for certain types of offen offenses and actions. BCC police officers also issue parking and traffic citations or North Carolina uniform citations to individuals who violate BCC parking and traffic policy or the North Carolina traffic laws known as Chapter 20 laws. BCC parking and traffic, traffic citations must be paid prior to a student graduating or receiving it transcripts from the college. Students' records are flagged until all fines have been cleared. North Carolina uniform citations must be cleared and dispensed with in North Carolina court system at the Beaufort County Courthouse. Jurisdictional boundaries. The BCC Police Department has the enforcement authority on all properties either owned or leased under the name of Beaufort County Community College as sanctioned by the Board of Trustees of the institution. Officers also have law enforcement authority on the section of Highway 264 that adjoins the campus grounds as well as any other property that immediately adjoins campus property. BCC PD officers have unlimited authority to pursue a subject off campus property and make an arrest after continuous flight or hot pursuit. The BCC PD can and will enter into mutual aid agreements with surrounding agencies to extend their jurisdictional boundaries. Hours of service. A BCC police officer is on duty during regular class hours. Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. A BCC police officer is always available during this time period during the normal academic session. This duty schedule fluctuates during the summer sessions. Emergency evacuation. All academic and instructional buildings on campus have an emergency overhead public address system known as a P PA system. Information re regarding emergency situations requiring evacuation as well as medical emergencies will be broadcasted over this system when necessary. The campus police chain of command. The chief of police answers directly to the vice president of administrative services at BCCC and his name is Mark Nelson. Dissemination of information. Timely alerts. The chief of police at BCCC notifies the vice president of student Sir, students, Rick Anderson, and the president of BCCC, Dr. Barbara Tanzi, and the vice president of administrative Ser services, Mark Nelson, when a serious incident or catastrophic event occurs that might possibly jeopardize public safety or affect campus operations. A campus-wide notification will be sent out advising of the, any major crime or incident that occurs to campus via cell phone text messages, emails to all employees, an alertist message will appear on all BCC computers, overhead public address system, if merited, a message on the BCC website, Television via statement released via our designated college official if needed. Message read in all classes by instructors. Campus Watch. Campus Watch is a campus-wide program designed to give the entire campus community an opportunity to become involved in maintaining a safe campus. The Campus Watch symbol and slogan, Alert Ives Save Lives, is designed to be the symbolic public destination that a formal reporting process exists on our campus. All members of the campus community are urged to contact BCC police when they spot a safety hazard or crime being committed. Individuals will be recognized and rewarded for becoming involved in this program and can remain anonymous. Citizens can also email their information to bccpolice at beaufortccc.edu. Lost and found. Any property found abandoned should be turned into the BCC police for inventory and storage. 
The BCC police will not be responsible for items missing from found property, purses, wallets, etc. Parking and traffic. The student faculty or staff member in whose name a vehicle is registered will be held responsible and accountable for any liability or damage claims, including a violation of campus traffic rules and regulations arising in connection with the possession or operation of motor vehicles on campus. Any person violating these regulations shall be guilty of a violation of school administrative parking and traffic policy as well as the appropriate law stated in Chapter 10, 20 of the General Statutes of North Carolina. The BCC police officer has the option to either charge an individual on a campus citation or to use a uniform state citation. Student records are flagged until parking fines are paid. All tickets must be cleared before a student can graduate or receive transcripts. The following is a list of chargeable traffic offenses which are violations of both school policy and state law. 1. Driving the wrong direction on a one-way street. 2. Reckless driving. 3. Blocking or impeding traffic. 4. Parking in fire lanes. 5. Unauthorized utilization of a handicap parking space. This means if you have a handicap placard, but it is not yours, it is your grandparents, cousins, nieces, or nephews, you are not able to park in a handicap space while using their placard. You will be fined. 6. Exceeding safe speed limit or exceeding the posted speed limit of 15 miles per hour or in parking lots 5 miles per hour. 7. Expired vehicle inspection. 8. Inspired vehicle registration. 9. Failure to obey an officer's signal. 10. Seat belt violations. 11. Moving or removing barricades. That means if I put cones up outside somewhere to block off a parking lot and you move those cones, you will be fined. Operating a motor vehicle without being properly licensed by the state of North Carolina. Operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of an impairing substance. 14. Hit and run. 15. Violation of county noise ordinance. This involves your car stereos. 16. Operating unlicensed uninsured vehicles. Motorized three and four wheelers on streets. 17. Operating unlicensed uninsured vehicles on campus streets. The following are a violation of the BCC traffic policy only. Parking on the grass. Parking on painted lines. Failure to register your vehicle with the college and getting a student decal. Having your decal readily visible on your vehicle. Parking on sidewalks blocking sidewalks, parking in the wrong zone, parking in the ATM reserve parking spaces only, skateboarding on campus, roller skating, and inline skating. All full-time faculty and staff as well as part-time and full-time students are required to obtain BCC parking decals from the Vice President of Student Services Office. Parking regulations are in effect 24, hour a day, 24 hours a day. Parking decals must be permanently adhered to the vehicle they are, design, they are assigned to. Parking decals must be displayed either on the left rear window or the left rear section of the vehicle bumper. Individuals are allowed to register two vehicles and you can pick up your decal from the front desk in building one. Parking areas. Faculty, staff, students, and visitors of the campus are expected to utilize only paved and non-paved areas that are designated for parking. The fact that spaces are not available near the building that you are visiting does not give you the authority to park illegally or create a parking space. You may see the campus map online for a parking layout. Handicapped spaces are closely monitored by the BCC police and regulations laws that govern them are strictly enforced. Students are free to park in any parking lot except for the circle where the flagpoles are known as the administration circle drive that faces building one. This area is designated and posted as for employees and visitors only. Park, the parking lot identifiers are as follows. P1E, P1W, P2, P3, P4, P6, P7, P8, P8 grass overflow behind building 8, P9, P10, P10E, P11, P12, and the P12 overflow grass area behind building 12. 
All campus streets have names and identifier signage. Bicycles and scooters. Bicycles must be secured with a bicycle lock at all times. Bicycles can only be secured to objects that are secure from removal. Bicycles that are secured in a manner that impedes the normal vehicle or pedestrian traffic flow, flow will be sighted and possibly seized. Bicycles and scooters are required to display a valid BCC parking decal. Scooters are allowed to park in the striped areas in parking lots designated as no parking for normal size automobiles as long as they do not impede traffic flow or handicap access. Jump starting and unlocking vehicles. The BCC police have the equipment available to assist you in jump starting and unlocking your vehicle. All individuals must sign a liability waiver before the BCC police department will perform any service on a vehicle. Inclement weather policy. A decision to close the college or consider a delayed schedule will be announced by 6 a.m. on the local radio and television stations. The decision to cancel evening classes will be made by 4 p.m. Information regarding the alertation of school operating schedules can be obtained after hours by calling the campus switchboard at 946-6194 via automated answering. Students are urged not to call college administrators or other college officials at home to obtain this information. No mention of the BCC operating schedules by the media or Canvas switchboard automated answering system means that all classes will meet on the normal schedule. Cell phones. Cell phones and camera phones will be turned off in class and inside the library, the Learning Resource Center. This is Beaufort County C Community College policy. Any student failing to comply with this will be asked to leave campus and can and will be banned or dismissed from campus by BCC police. Alcohol and drug policy. Information regarding the North Carolina laws dealing with drugs and alcohol as well as related health risks is located in the manual which is also posted online. The BCC police department will strictly enforce these laws. Alcohol and drugs are illegal on campus weapons on campus. North Carolina General Statutes NCGS 14-269 subsection 2 weapons on campus or other educational property and 14-269 carrying concealed weapon will be strictly enforced by the BCC Police Department. In 1995 legislative changes in the concealed handgun law made it possible for the average citizen after meeting or exceeding certain criteria to legally carry a handgun concealed on their person. The law as it relates to educational property did not change. Carrying a concealed handgun on educational property, even with a valid concealed handgun permit, constitutes a felony. However, in 2013, the statute was amended to allow an individual possessing a North Carolina state-issued concealed carry permit to possess a weapon on campus as long as the weapon is secured in the permit holder's personal vehicle. This means that it needs to be locked inside of your glove box or inside of your vehicle where it is not able to be seen by anyone. Also, if you are found with a weapon, you will be asked to permit and produce your handgun permit to carry. All other forms of possession are still illegal and it should be further understood that hunting rifles and shotguns in plain view or concealed in a vehicle on educational property are illegal. Sworn law enforcement officers and some military personnel and or individuals participating in weapons training are allowed to possess firearms on college property. Stalking and domestic violence. Stalking and domestic violence situations are more prevalent on college campuses than ever before. Stalking is illegal in North Carolina and is defined as the willful watching and or following of another person with the intent to harass, intimidate, or scare the targeted victim as they go about their normal routines. A person does not have to verbally threaten or approach his or her targeted victim to be considered a stalker. Anyone on campus who feels they are being stalked should contact the BCC Police Department immediately. The victim should not approach or confront the stalker even if they know his or her identity. It is equally important to notify the BCC Police Department if you have a domestic violence restraining order filed against an individual. The order needs to include language that covers and protects the victim while they are on campus property. Animals. 
Animals are not allowed inside campus buildings or vehicles unless they are being used in a class or for other types of instructional purposes. Assistant animals, canines, are allowed in all campus facilities. No domestic animal is allowed to roam free on campus property. That creates a nuisance or displays the potential to endanger campus citizens. This means I do not want to see any animals inside of your vehicles while you are here on the property. I do not care if it's just for an hour or two. Do not bring them out here because wildlife or um, the animal rescue people will be called out here. No person is allowed to dwell on campus who is found to lack a valid reason or purpose to be on campus. Individuals found to be loitering will be escorted off the college property and possibly sanctioned or banned for their actions. Students are not allowed to bring their children to campus and let them roam unattended while they are in class. Students are not allowed to remain in campus facilities after class hours when the campus facility has been vacated by all faculty, instructors, or other BCC staff. Students need to schedule a pickup as close to the end of class time as, as possible. Facilities will be secured in a timely manner by the BCC Police Department at the end of all scheduled classes in a facility. Smoking. Effective of August 1, 2010, BCC became a smoke-free, tobacco-free campus. Sh sanctions will be placed on all individuals who violate this policy. All consumption of tobacco on college property including smoking inside personal vehicles is a violation of the smoke tobacco free policy. The policy is posted on the BCCC website. Internet usage. Beaufort County Community College has established an acceptable use policy for the campus wide internet system. The campus internet is available for education, education and is a valuable information resource for all members of the campus community and the community at large. Actions and usage deemed un unacceptable include viewing or transmitting sexually explicit or pornographic materials, communicating threats, harassing or intimidating other parties, participating in scams or frauds against other parties, transmitting false and fictitious information, creating and transmitting computer viruses, downloading illegal unlicensed music, etc., copyright infringement. Individuals found to be utilizing the campus network in any of the above means will be sanctioned by the BCC Police Department and will lose their um, internet privileges and be banned from all BCC properties and facilities for repeat offenders They will face possible prosecution. Special events. Special parking can be designated for large on-campus events that will cause a strain on existing parking areas. The Campus Sexual Violence Elimination Act of 2013. On March 7th of 2013, President Obama signed a bill that strengthened and reauthorized the Violence Against Women Act. BCC prohibits any act of domestic violence, dating violence, sexual assault, and stalking and will thoroughly investigate all reports of these acts and will further apply swift and appropriate education to the perpetrators and further provide safeguards that are available and resources to its victims. Sexual Assault. The BCCPD will investigate and report all incidents of sexual assault on campus and will refer to the findings of the initial investigation to the Vice President of Student Services, Rick Anderson. The victim will be immediately transported to Beaufort County Hospital for treatment via EMS. A spouse or family member will be contacted at the request of the victim. Rape victims will have evidence collected by a qualified physician at the hospital in accordance with the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation Standards for Rape Evidence Collection and Chain of Evidence Custody. Any information obtained as a result of analysis of this evidence will be used to assist the campus police in their investigation and increase the chances of making an arrest, especially if the assailant is unknown to the victim or if the assailant flees immediately after the incident occurs. The victim will have the option to call his or her personal physician after the initial examination at the hospital. Counseling from an outside provider as well as on-campus counseling will also be available to the victim for an indefinite period. As with an incident of this nature, confidentiality is the utmost concern of the victim and the Beaufort County Community College. Every effort will be made to protect the victim from public scrutiny. Public awareness information regarding this type of incident as well as classes in self-defense and personal safety are provided by the Office of the Vice President of Student Services. 
Any BCC student found to be the perpetrator of this type of offense that is committed on campus will be permanently banned from campus pro property and face criminal prosecution and sanctions. Solicitation. Certain types of solicitation are prohibited on campus. These types include placing flyers on vehicles, placing flyers on non-public bulletin boards on campus, door-to-door -door sales by non-sanctioned campus groups, gaming or ticket sales not classified as a donation, placing, posting non-BCC political signs and banners, vendors placing and posting their company name, logo, and contact information. Any type of, the, any type of this is a breach of North Carolina law. Campus organizations should obtain permission from the Vice President of Student Services, Rick Anderson, before participating in any form of campus solicitation. Outside groups, non-affiliates, must obtain permission from the BCC Board of Trustees prior to soliciting on campus. ID badges. All curriculum students are required to obtain a college ID badge. The ID badge office is located inside Building 5, Room 15, the lower level. For contact information, call 940-6360. Safety tips. Never walk alone at night in any of the parking areas or areas of reduced lighting. Do not park in outlying areas. Have your keys ready in your hand prior to exiting a building. Be aware of your surroundings when walking and walk with confidence. Keep your doors locked while driving or when you are sitting in your parked vehicle. Avoid using the ATM late at night, especially if you are a woman, and especially if you are alone. And report any suspicious activity to the BCC Police Department. If you have not filled out a BCC mobile alert system registration form, you can do so online. And this concludes the end of our presentation. Please make sure you review the drugs and alcohols and their risks as well as the type of schedules and what they could do to you if you take them. And remember, this is a drug and alcohol free zone. If you have any questions or need to seek more information, please call 943-8721.